Welcome back guys and thank you for joining me in another episode of our masterclass. Uh, today we're gonna take care always of the fuel generators because I had a comment from a subscriber called Renard Tatch that by the time the, that we get to play with the fuel genius we only have the mark to blueprint designer so he's kind of right about that the blueprint that i made in the mark free you cannot use it until you get basically to the end of the game so it's kind of useless and i'm sorry about that so i'm gonna do the right thing and recreate this stuff now mark five mark two it's only five by five so you don't have a tile meaning that pipe cannot exist in there okay so you lose one space that same thing applies on this side another space two spaces we're gonna need four spaces just to make it that well they're exactly in the middle so hmm, this one will not work properly in the mark two blueprint designer but we're gonna adapt to that and we're gonna make it easy for all the satisfactory players out there. This is our Mark II Blueprint Designer. Put it here, huge platform, just to test it out and to make it beautiful because the last time we did it on the grass and it was a mess. So, power, fuel. We're gonna try and scooch this boy as much as we can in there. Uh, apparently there's the limit BAG. Is it the line? Yes, it is a line in there. It is a line in here. Perfect. Now, let's see. Does another one fit in there? Kinda, sorta. Yep, not enough space for sure. <laughs> so, if I put a cross in there, I might squish it in, but no way I'm gonna connect that with the pipes because it's gonna be so finicky. It ain't worth your time. You're gonna have a lot of issues. So, can I fit another one? Yes, perfect. Well, we're gonna do it in halves. Half on this side, half on that side. So, let us begin just like we begin the other one, basically. Because you're gonna need those pipelines. Let's put this one in here. Just to give ourselves some space in here. We know it's gonna be till the end so let's put it until the end let's put a mark one pipe in there you're gonna have to mark two if you're gonna make a big one you're gonna need mark two in there but for the sake of this uh master class in here we're gonna use mark one okay so leave ourselves one space in there put that field generator here put the other one if I can please if I may come on you can do this perfect let's grab our crosses right now put them in here somewhere it doesn't really matter where because now we're working with the left and right side okay let's grab that pipe from there make the connections on this side and now let's invent the power don't connect them to those, okay? Remember that. Do not connect them to that guy. Uh, let's put it on the outside. Just to make it easier, you know? So this, basically, it's everything you need. Right side, okay? So, let's go in there. See here, uh, MK2, because it's Mark II blueprint designer uh let's just leave it mark two fuel gen right side okay right it's gotta be on caps i'm gonna put it in here in fuel genius just as always gonna select my icon fuel please Always maniac with my color, sorry guys. <laughs> uh, save blueprint, okay. Now we don't have to do too much to align it the left side because guess what? Not enough place in this blueprint 
only two genies come here okay only two so let's clear it and repeat the same stuff but on the other side okay so begin with the stack don't put it in there leave yourself some space okay put it in there right now. and then in here come on you can do this okay let's wow i did something wrong on the other side we'll have to go and modify because this will be too short to connect to the other one yep so we're gonna have to go back to it good side good stuff let's put it in here in here just to have please to connect that pipe from one side to the other one okay uh fuel generators please turn the other way because this is the left side i'm interested for it to be aligned with this line here this line in here because otherwise the second one will not fit that is good enough mister now on this side uh, we don't need crests basically on this side we don't need anything we get the power bolts and everything on the other side so this is everything there is it okay so mk2 uh let's write it like that fuel gens left side set directory always in here the fuel generators and blueprint close that select taken with the fuel genies perfect select it select again my color say blueprint okay now we'll clear it and load the other one because the other one has to be modified so the right side in here these boys are too close in here we'll have to modify that no other choice delete the pipeline delete that one go back uh logistics please give me that that so in there we send and in here we send okay let's grab a pipe mark one put it in there and now just save the blueprint okay it will overwrite over that one because it has exactly the same description okay good stuff it's done clear it let me grab my products out of this invisible chest of ours and let's go test that made it here a huge platform with a bunch of light that I knew if it was gonna gonna be day or night basically so first we're gonna take our blueprint that I made in the mark free blueprint designer this is my blueprint okay I'm gonna put it in here just for reference okay don't need anything else we're gonna delete it afterwards let's see what have we done in here so mark 2 this is the right side Guess what? It's right in there. Apparently, I put the crosses a little more in there so you can drag them a little closer, but it doesn't really matter if you eat another space or not. And this one is the left side. You gotta align it with that way, okay? You can do it like that. So, basically, the difference right now is that you gotta connect that to that, that to that, and you're done. You can put the next ones. Okay, let's delete them, all of them, and try to recreate whatever we're gonna do in the world normally. Okay, so you're gonna have a pipe, I don't know, delivering fuel, let's see, turbo fuel, ionized fuel, whatever kind of fuel you want. Let's say it's gonna be that way, okay? Here are your blenders, your refineries, your whatever you want. This is your entrance, your fuel. Now, how I would do this? So, Mark 2, we're gonna take the right side. I'm gonna align my pipe with that pipe, okay? Let's begin from there. Will it be enough place? No, because I want to have crosses on that pipe. Merging that side, 
merging that side. So I'm gonna leave myself another space, let's say. Pull that one a little to the left just to have it fine. I've made one. Uh, I'm aiming at that and I keep pressing control. It snaps. It's perfectly aligned. Okay, you don't need anything else. Aim, keep pressing control. That's my right side. Done. Now, we will take the left side. Come on, move faster. And now, if you have problem with your mouse, to have sensitivity, you can just slam it in there, whatever. Let's say, in there, press H on it. And now you can move your mouse however you want. These guys, you can move it with the arrow keys. Check this out. Let's say in there. Let's just say it in there. Just to be nice, the same spacement before those guys, okay? I've placed my first, aiming at that, keep pressing control on that side. It's in there. Aiming at that, keep pressing control. It's done. I just put down three times four generators. So I get six on this side, six on that side. Let's do all the connections. So, one pipe, two pipes, another pipe in the middle. We're done with the middle, okay? Now, exterior pipes. This is why I left that space, because otherwise, out of hand, that one in there, and the other one in there. And it would have been a pain to connect them. Like this, it's a lot easier. So, just merge the exterior pipe on the left side. Let's do the same for the right side. And now, let's take care of this entry. So, you will need to pump from all the ways, okay? Just choose a place. I choose that line because it's easy for me to connect on that line, okay? Put it in there. Put it in there, somewhat aligned, you know. That's my main. I want to fill that line and all the generators with the fuel that I got in here. I want to connect that one. And I want to connect that one. Okay, that's it. If you want, use something else in there. Don't use those. You can put your pipe on the same level in there. I like using those poles. You can have a pipe, simple like that, going, I don't know, on the first floor, let's call it. But I like using the stackable ones. I don't know why. It's the same thing. Don't worry, your machinery is able to push it that high. Now, let's do the same thing at the end. So, take a cross, come somewhere here, Come somewhere in here, somewhere in here, connect that, no, not in the BIG, not in the BIG, in here, perfect, but now we're gonna need the buffer, now that buffer, I would like it to be higher than this, I don't know, do you have access to Mark 2 or Mark 1? I think you get access to Mark 2. You can put it in here, but I would like to have it slightly elevated, let's see. So, let's put it somewhere in the back in here. Because this buffer will provide pressure to all these lines in here. So, I'll just align it in the middle of the foundation, come with that one in there, and call it good. You know, your machinery has enough power on this level to push up until like 4, 6, 8, 10 meters. I don't know. I think it's 10 meters. So it will have enough pressure to pull, to put inside of this guy. This guy will likely get filled until there or something like that. That means until here. At this level, if you make it a 2 meter foundation, it will go up until here. It doesn't really matter. The idea is... To have some fuel inside of here. If you don't want to lift it up, it's fine. It's gonna work perfect. I don't lift it up 
all the time. Only recently I started lifting up. So, anti nail, I just did it like this. And only the fact that you can have fluid until this level, because like this, guess what? It's gonna get filled up. It's gonna provide pressure in the pipes. So, do it like this. The only thing remaining is to connect these wires in here. And you have just set your fuel generators. That's it. Done. Allow your fuel to be pumped in here. Allow all of these guys to be filled up with their 50 fuel in the chambers in here. Um, allow those pipes to get filled up and their way to get filled up. And only after that start. That's the key. If you want to put more than this, it's risky. Or the six is like the maximum that I will go. The other six, if you want to build them, delete this guy because you're going to have fills with this stuff, okay? So, I don't know, 60, 70, 80, hundreds. Make, him, make them on this other side. Make them on the other side. If you want to go with the second batch in there, what I advise you to do is to leave that one in the middle and then continue with another blueprint from here. But let it connect in here and then repeat the whole history that you got in here, in there. Now looking at this, it doesn't look exactly amazing with that lifted pipe. I don't like it. <laughs> so only one option, put that press higher or drop your what should we call it? Drop your pipe. You know, to drop your pipe, you will have to come in here and edit your blueprints. So we're gonna load the right side. Let me get in here. Fuel gens. Right side. Oops. Lost power in there. Did it that? Wait for it to load, VAG. Perfect. Grab a pipe. Logistics. Pipe. Uh, leave yourself the space. So from there, uh, down please. Go in here. That's your Mark 1 pipe. Save the blueprint. Save it. Clear it. Load it again. Left side. Let's do the same thing in here. Let's grab a pipe. No, not marked. Mark one. It's more than enough. For six of them? Yeah, it's more than enough. Don't do it up. Leave it down. Then come in here. Is this spaced? It is. Clear it. Oh my god, I cleared it. Now, I should have saved it. You know, left side, let me do that one really fast. Okay, so save blueprint, it will override it. Clear it. Grab my stuff from here. And let's see how that one is gonna look. It's gonna be a million times better than this one, for sure. So, delete blueprint. Those will be nasty. Of course, this stuff that we placed afterwards is gonna remain into the world let's delete the blueprints first and let me clear the scenery so same thing as before this is my entry point i'm gonna take my right side align it with that put it in there let's leave ourselves the space once let's make only four this time Four on one side, four on the other side. Uh, left side is perfect. Gotta turn it. Uh, I think I misplaced those. Yeah, okay, good stuff. So, right side. It's gotta be like that. Perfect. 
Griffey. Left sign. Good stuff. Grab my pipe. Cross. Whatever. Drop it in there. Drop it in there. Okay, I can go with the next batch. So, right side, aim at that, keep pressing control, everything is aligned. Left side, same stuff, aim at that, press control, come on. It worked. Grab the pipe, the main, let's call it. Connect those little pieces in there. Sorry, that's intro. Connect the wire in the middle. Do not connect the chain. Put your cross. Put your cross. Same thing on this other side. And then your buffer. Buffer is very important, believe it or not. That's it. You just put eight generators into the wall. It did not took as much as it would have uh, normally taken. Disadvantage of the Mark II is that you gotta use two blueprints. One for the right side, one for the left side. But it ain't impossible. Okay, it is what it is. We work with what we have here. Nevertheless, it went really fast. Really, really fast. It's really good. Until you're gonna have the Mark III, you're gonna have to settle with this. Mark III changes everything, of course. But already when you are Mark III, you are tempted to move away from the fuel generation and go towards the nuclear. Well, don't hurry it, because nuclear is a different kind of animal in there. Better go on the map, look for some more pure oil, make your blueprint, this guy, the one that was in the first master class with fuel gens, and start placing them into the wall, okay? Because you're gonna have diluted fuel made in a blend. You're gonna have the turbo fuel. You're gonna have the rocket fuel. You're gonna have the ionized fuel. I didn't try the last. Uh, unfortunately, in this world in here, I get the recipe for the turbo fuel made in a blender pretty late, so I didn't use it. So only have a few fuel generators with this setup. But in my new world, the last playthrough that I make with the last factory, I will have it. So I will make fields and fields and fields of these guys, hundreds. And these blueprints that I have in here, I'm gonna save them into that side. So it's gonna be just a stand. You know? Actually, I already saved the one for from the Mark III. And um, guess what? It keeps the blueprints. So even though I only unlocked Mark One blueprint designer. I'm able to put down the blueprints that I made in the Mark III. Even though they contain this kind of stuff that I didn't unlock yet, I'm able to put them down. So it works. Uh, another way to cheese it is just start in creative mode. <sighs> That's cheating, okay? But you can start in creative mode, put down a Mark V blueprint designer, start making these blueprints. And when you are into your world, once you unlocked normal playthrough, I mean, once you unlock the Mark One blueprint designer, you'll be able to be out there and uh, I don't know, put any kind of blueprint you want. Let me prove you that. Okay, so I'll save this game. Okay, big one. I'm gonna load my final factory, and you're gonna see it. 
So in here, I'm at phase two. I have advanced options unlocked. I only unlocked the mark one. I don't have anything else, okay? I still haven't sent up the blades or the versatile framework. I didn't even start building the automated wire, okay? I'm just about to redo the steel factory that I got in there. But my blueprints are here, okay? I didn't unlock the manufacturers. I can place them. How I can place them? Well, I went around the map and I connected, collected a bunch of drops from all those crash pods. Not all of them, the ones I reached. But I didn't unlock this stuff. Look, power. I only have cobalt. This is 32 in here because I just made a platform with 32 coal power generators. That's the last episode in case you want to check it out. Thank you. Shameless plug. Yeah, I know. So I didn't unlock the fuel gems yet because I'm not even at the oil level. You think the game cares? Maybe it's gonna care at some point, but for now, it won't. In theory, with all the products that I gather from the wall, I could place this one down because um, normally I shouldn't have the concrete, not even the encased beams, because I'm not building them yet. Nevertheless, I am able to place this guy. Let me just find the space in here and show you, prove it to you, that I can place them. I shouldn't be able to create this stuff. It's not unlocked yet, mister. It ain't. But look at it. It's here. What do you think about it? I think it's just so standing. I hope they don't fix that, by the way. <laughs> Hi there everybody, how are you today? Guys, we're gonna leave this one here. Oh, we got concrete. Thank you so much for being here for watching this. If you like it, don't forget to leave a like and the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And if you wanna help me, and you by any chance, you wanna support my dream of becoming a full-time content creator, you can do that by grabbing yourselves an amazing membership. Thank you again. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of you all.